I wish I was here earlier. <laughs> I'd have more context. And, 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 I, and actually, I want to <laughs> kind of explain to Bobby right now why you're here right now. So, oh, yeah. So Steve, Steve came to my house a few nights ago, and we talked for hours about you. <laughs> hours. It's so uncomfortable. I can't even do it. <laughs> No, it's not an intervention. It's not an It's so uncomfortable, I can't even fucking believe it. <laughs> so let me ask you. You just told me, I'm so fucking uncomfortable, I can't stand it. But can you for a little bit, because he's here? Can, I, can the, you be open to hearing what we have to say? Yeah, you, okay. Can you be open to hearing what we have I'm to say? Here, no matter how uncomfortable it makes yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, here we go. Oh, Bow number eight. They've been bowing the whole time for respect. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, that's, you don't have to. Uh, okay. You don't have to yes. Uh, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> um, I like that bow. That's a new bow. <laughs> I gotta learn that one. All right, so, oh, listen, that's my dad. I'm, I'm, I, dude, I didn't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh but my gosh. That's his <laughs> <laughs> Is this your that, that's father's actions for real? He's dead. Yeah. Um. All right. So, wait. Okay. So. You know what? You're uncomfortable. I, no, no. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take them, my earphones off. And then you're gonna close your eyes. No, I'm not gonna close your eyes. I'm gonna put them, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen like. Oh wow! Yeah, 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 oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. I want my ears yeah. to hear this maybe fucking bullshit. Maybe close your eyes. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Babe, maybe Mike. close your oh. eyes. Maybe close your eyes. No, don't close. No, your no, eyes. no, I don't want to close. Don't your eyes. Right look, look at Mike. Because this is sabotage, and I love it. Go ahead. You think this is sabotage? I don't know what it is. Let's just do it, okay? You think this is a no? I'm, I'm, do you want me to go or do you want to go? You yeah. go first. Man. Okay, I've I'll been go. talking to this guy. All right, okay, it's okay. Mad when I tell him how much I love him. <laughs> I. Like, um. Can you can you hear me? Can, is this good? Everyone's good on the mic. You want headphones? Oh no, I'm okay. Okay. We got your mic now. Oh okay, really? Okay. I got a mic. Um, it's not that intense. <laughs> I uh, we were just talking, and you know, Dave Dave is great because if you know if you have an idea, he pushes the button, and then we're just on to the idea. But basically, we were just talking about you and how underappreciated you are. And we wanted to come tell you that, like... That's we, what you talked about? Yeah. What? Is it, 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 okay. I'm, genuine. I'm, I'm genuine. Uh -huh. Like, like we, were, we were talking about... Because I, I, I know you're doing a bit sometimes, too. It's like, sometimes I listen, when I listen to Tiger Belly, the fun bit that I hear you do is that... Uh, Nobody respects <laughs> you or your <laughs> career. And that's not true. That's not true, especially for me. Yeah. Because I massively respect. I know you do. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know that you, but I, you know, it's, it's funny. It's like, let me get back in here. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the listening part? I just listened to it. Can I, may I respond? No, I, I didn't, I didn't I get didn't, to say what I... You've been yeah. talking for fucking an hour that's true. and a half. That's true. Right, that's true. That's true. I want to hear more. I want to oh, yeah, go more. ahead. I, I can yeah, yeah, give me, Can give I respect your father? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, I got you, Dad. No, I got him. I'm gonna hold him. So we start talking about Tiger Belly. We start talking about you, and um, it's just uh, you know we could you know we could talk about the handcuff stuff, this and that. But the, the pain I feel of when I hear you go into like, man, I went into this pitch meeting, I didn't get the thing. I used to be on the show called Mad TV. Oh, it's I never say that. Like, I, I, it's a show from like 20, 30 years ago. I never really say that. And, and I just sit there and I go, what, you heard what Steve just said. I, and I go, I wonder if Bobby knows what he means to me. And then I say that to Steve and he goes, I wonder if Bobby knows what he means to us. Mm. And it's like, I, I, I have it all. I'm fine. Oh no, I'm thriving. But it's like everything you've ever wanted. Every it's like, like, do you know what you mean to me? Oh, God, do you know what you? So <laughs> that's why I asked you. Are you open to here? And you said you're gonna sit. This is not the way I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you walked into Cafe One Hundred One, and 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 you do the bit. Oh, you, there's a, a warlock there with nail polish. You do the whole thing, and I oh never, God. ever in my life thought I would meet you. And, mm. and, and I never thought I would meet you again, which is why I was like, this is my chance, <laughs> right? And you say all this shit, you changed my brother's life, this, all that. You changed my life. You changed my life. And I, I, I want you to hear it, even though it makes you uncomfortable. Like, see, why do you got to do that? I don't know why I did. Why do you got to do that? I was sneezing. 
All right. That was a sneeze. I mean, are you taking in anything that we're yes, saying? Yes, I am. That's why I closed my eyes where I'm absorbing it. But I get it. I get... I can't <laughs> hear... Even... I, I get the, the cringe of this thing. But, you know, we even talked about it. I was like, I don't know if I... Maybe I should just call him personally. But then, you know... This is more yeah. intense Showbiz, and fun baby. And <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood, baby. Yeah. But but truly, Bobby, you're like not you're I think you know this, but sometimes it just feels nice to hear it. Like you did it when nobody else could. You did it for us. Yeah. We bow to and, you. And people don't fully know. <laughs> <laughs> by himself now. By, by himself, babe. Meet him. I don't. I, I know because I, I. I'm gonna tell you why. This is. <laughs> did that feel foolish? Thank you so much. <laughs> don't laugh. We. 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 You. You did it. But oh. but it's serious. But it's, no, it's I, I, serious. I, 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 don't I'm, turn it into a joke. I'm not. Don't turn. You did it. You did. You it. did it. I, I receive it. Genuinely. You did it. Receive it. I've 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 absorbed it inside my body, and I'm gonna say something in return, and I'm gonna be as authentic and as real as I can be. Okay. Number one, it's the realization that it really doesn't mean that much at the end of the day. It's like I have everything that I need. Mm. Okay. Honestly, I do. I have a house. I have some money saved up. I have a beautiful girlfriend. I have friends. My mom's still alive. My brother's with us, and he's, he's thriving as well. So that's number one. Number two is I really be believe that I am owning up to who I am, not just as a human being, but also as an, an entertainer, okay? And I, in this last year, mm. it's been very fruitful for me. I'm working all the time, mm. and things have been great. And um, and you know, I'm going to New York to do something else. You know what I mean? Next month, you know, I got Sex in the City, mm -hmm. right? So I'm doing that, and I'm doing, uh, I, you know, and I'm so for me I, when I hear you guys say that, right? It's you know, um, it really means a lot because obviously I love both of you. I think you both are in incredibly talented, and I really do appreciate it. And I almost got really emotional, emotional there, you know. And I, but, I, but have, you, you, I have defense mechanisms, and I and you, I. You, you, you're, I, 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 yeah, you're doing I, it. I, 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 let me, can I just finish? Yeah. Because sure. that's your thing. What? I don't want to yell. Don't. I love you. You know when I yell at you and I go, "Tiger Belly could be the biggest show," and I, and, I, and that's like me. That's you're right. That but is that's old. Not, that's that is old, Dave. But today I just accept you as like you don't have to be on Sex in the City. You don't have to do any of that. And so I, I, I didn't say that just to, for you to say well, what's, that. What's I'm just saying that. Look, you're getting angry again. And no, I'm I, not getting angry. And, That's I, and I'm I, just, not. I just want you to really understand what. <laughs> but you know, you know what happened to me on the drive here? Yeah. I was like, I need to download some Bobby. So I listened to Bad Friends, your newest episode. Mm -hmm. So good. And then um, the beginning of the episode, you were just recounting how much work you had, and then I almost turned the car around, and be like, "Fuck, he doesn't need me to come over here and say this shit." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "This is fucking nonstop. What yeah. the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you, 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 things. And I, you didn't need me to. I just, just to be clear. Yeah. This is awkward for me because I know you don't need this, and this wasn't me. This is not an intervention or us coming here to be like you feel down on yourself. No, no. So it was like, I, I, for me. It's just like we sat there. I haven't talked to you in a while. Yeah. And so now I get to like tell you in a time when, and I don't want to shrink you down to just Asian American, but like in a time when Asian Americans are getting a spotlight. Just on that lane of what you've done for the community, beyond, separate from humanity, but what you've done for that specific community, massive. And people don't get it. I, and that's kind of what I want to say is less to you and more on this program. I don't think people fully realize what Bobby Lee did for Asian Americans. So this, fucker's, yeah. this fucker's at my house. We're having this conversation at my house, <laughs> and I'm like, I wish I was better friends with Bobby so I could call him right now, and he would pick up the phone, and we could tell him on person. And I said, you know what? I would. What Steve's telling to me is like making me emotional, and so I'm like, 
I want to tell this to Bobby, but he's never going to pick up my call. I should just go on Tiger Belly and tell him. <laughs> and so here I am <laughs> and now. Ambush. And you're getting, and, and you're getting, you're getting, and, and, and so we start the show and he goes, oh, without DVD, I say there's no Tiger Belly. There's no fucking us without you. There's no us that's without true, you. That's true. That's true. I'm out. Uh, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee. Yeah, Th- there's nothing. True. There's a void. There's nothing. There's nothing. How about this? You know. And what? then there's Bobby Lee on Mad TV, and you're like, oh, there's hope. Yeah. There's a light at yeah, the end of the yeah. tunnel. What you meant to me, a young me. What you meant to a young yeah, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's great? I want you to hear that. It's hundred percent. Hundred percent. I hear that. And I remember an episode of Tiger Belly where you tell the story about you guys were at a Korean barbecue and you're talking about how like you are you self anointed yourself as a Korean something at Parks barbecue yeah at Parks and then you fucking ate it and that's because it's the shittiest raw deal to have to anoint yourself in your own mind to the worth that you inhabit Mm -hmm. and that's kind of the function that I'm trying to serve here with dave is like let me just give it to you like you got it like you did it and you did it you for f- us you fucking did it you did it for us um i don't get asked to um do the uh, um yeah psa's we don't want you <laughs> <laughs> i you know I, I get together with steve ali wong dave chang and we go we don't want this guy here yeah but I, 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 no. I, I, can i just tell you something Kidding. i care about it yeah and i think i have a voice do. and i want to say you know say, hey man stop the asian violence say it you now. Know, we're, but you know what though? What I'm saying is, your existence is more powerful than you realize. Yes. To, uh, uh, like in that, you just doing this fucking show is more stop Asian hate than anything. Yes, yes. Like you just being here and being your thriving, funny fucking self is yes. like you don't. What were you gonna say? Don't hurt me. Don't hit me. Yeah. You like it when people hit you. <laughs> you're really offended but that's but your existence is the protest and your I, I, existence has been the protest since the beginning of your career mm. and that's kind of the validation that we're trying to put out there for you again not that you need it but just for the knowledge if just we're like sitting here it's like bruce lee that's not me there's this asian waiter guy that's not me and then and then there's this guy this guy with the f- he comes out, and I go, okay, you know, that you know, guy. I got really, emo- I got emotional, and I, you know, the first, the third day I was on Mad TV, a producer called me into his office, and he said, "Sit down." And I sat down. And he goes, "When you auditioned, I didn't want you on the show. I don't think, I don't think that you're talented. I don't think that you're right for the show." He's a producer on the show, and mm-hmm. I go, "Really?" And he goes, "Yeah, it's just like the owner of the show really likes you, and a couple of other guys, but like, I just." You know, so basically he was saying like me and my my writing staff that the people that I probably gonna write you things. You know, he said don't take it personally. We just you know, and I remember turning around, walking out of that room, and just in for, like mm. in the verge of tears, mm. right? Going, oh, this is even when I get something, yeah, it's there's another hurdle and there's another wall i have to climb yeah and this that one was one that was like so high up right because i had to change his mind and, and when you don't have the opportunity on the show right you don't get a lot of screen time and, and parts written how are you going to hit the ball right yeah. so it's like it was a it was you know it was tough you know and i stayed on there i just just showed up you know i showed up and it was hard i think you didn't just show up though. You took you several cried. years of fucking beatings and yet you thrived. Like they put weights on you and you still thrived. And you're out here now thriving independent of that. Yeah. And I wonder like you know, you could take the weights off too. What a concept. Wow. Wow. And that's not an intervention point. That's for me, like, as someone that launched off of your trailblazing and your shoulders, I can say there's a point at which I was like, oh, cool, I could take this off. I put this, I kept this on, and it became a thing I justified, and now I could take this shit off. And then you're just like, fuck, I'm good. Like, I can do it. Okay, I just, uh, you know, you know, I don't know what this is. But um, what do you mean? This guy comes to my house. No, I know, I know what it is. I know, no, I'm just saying, I, I, I know what it is. 
it's just um I wasn't expecting this and um I you know I appreciate what you guys just did and this is the first time in my life where I agree with you in the sense that like yeah it was hard and I did do it and I and they didn't want a Korean guy on the show they were like we want a, we need a white guy cuz mm -hmm. they you know and then they they tested me in Taron Killam and they're like we want the white guy but We'll bring the Asian guy just as an experiment, right? Mm -hmm. my, my point is, is that everything was kind of difficult. And um, and I just, I always knew, like when I'm at a, I'll be honest with you, when I'm at a comedy club and I'm stacked up against all these white and black guys and this and that, I know that I can carry my weight. Mm -hmm. And I know that I will be as funny or funnier than all of them, right? Mm -hmm. I believe that. You are. I know, I believe that. You know, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've. I've done it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I've seen it. So all those, it's hard to say because it's like, how do you toot your own horn? Yeah, you yeah can, how do you, it's, it's, it's just a yeah. difficult thing to do, you know? And um, I, um, I hear you guys and I really, really, that means a lot to me and I really appreciate it, you know? I think that this was a... Um, we appreciate your hard work. Yeah, it's, it's really good. We see you. Yeah. We Are you getting you. emotional? I am because I think that, I don't know, just like, We've been together a decade. Mm -hmm. And when I met him, he was so broken and he was so down on himself. And he was just so like lost. And he was still like looking at these gatekeepers of Hollywood thinking like, hand me something. Have I not done enough? And I've just always been like on the sidelines, like desperately trying to tell him like he's worthy. But I'm a nobody. I was just a nurse, you know, and I'm just somebody that loves him. So to hear it from you guys, you know, like established people, like it means a lot to me because I feel like that reverberates more in him in his body than it would coming from, you know, somebody like me who just loves him for whatever chaos comes, whatever form or shape that he comes in, right? And so that means a lot to me hearing that. Your words and your acceptance of the fullness of Bobby as he is, is the most powerful thing that he can have, like straight up. My wife is like, she takes me, she sees me when I'm taking shits. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And she's still here. Yeah. So yeah. like, fuck everyone else. I've seen it as powerful shits. Really yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But I, I, all that to say, like, I believe I, I'm, it. I'm not here to tell you anything. Like, you already know. I'm just here to tell. That's why I think this public forum is cool because it's like, cool. Every motherfucker that didn't realize that Bobby Lee like set shit up for people and us and took, man. Th I mean, I know how hard it was and still how hard it is for me to navigate this industry. And you did it when nobody was there. Nobody. And we do the, the you know, whatever, turn it into a bit. We're doing the bow joking thing. Mm. <laughs> That's not a joke. That's not a joke. Yeah, I know it's not. I, 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 now I, I know it's not. I, um, I, I pay respect Listen, you. I, you know, I don't want to cry anymore. Why not? Because it's, it felt good. <laughs> it felt good. It was a release. I, I felt good about it. And I released, um, you know... I um people need to pay respect to you. I I I know. And we did that. <laughs> <laughs> we did that. And I I honestly from the bottom of my fucking heart, thank you too for doing that. I've never that I never dreamt that people like you guys, like guys I really respect, I really do. Like in terms of I like I go this these are guys are younger and I can't even believe that, you know, sometimes you know I can't believe that certain people like me, whatever. Mm -hmm. It feels good, you know? So it's like, I want to say thank you for doing that. It's, you know, so much respect there. And I believe you. And I, um, I'm never going to forget it. I'm never going to forget it. Oh, shout out to Tia Carrera. That was another one. I really... Oh, Tia yeah, Carrera. I love her. Yo, love there, her. Uh, you're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the only one. But you know what? Yeah. The distinction that I make that you did was you didn't try to fit within the prism of what Asian America was supposed to be yeah. at that time. And mm. you frequently 
continuously broke it. Even when the community itself didn't want you to break it like that. But that's a lot and of work. And that's fucking balls. And it's a lot of work. So much work. That's why when he says you could put the weights down now. Yeah, I, yeah. It's like when Kalila shares and like just hearing her that makes me emotional like that because it's like that's that's your woman, man. She loves you. And um, it's, it's like uh, does it make more sense now? Because we've been battling before before the Postmates guy got here, and <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and uh, really so there was <laughs> no, it's like I I I love you so much that when I feel the way that Kalila must feel all the time, being it, it does make me angry because I'm like I wish you could see yourself the way I see you, and like this fucking guy shows up to my house. And we're just doing a Bobby Lee fest. I'm like, let's tell him. Yeah. Let's just tell him. Like, why are we saying it to each other? Yeah. He should hear this shit. 